it's Vlogmas time, oh yes, it's Vlogmas time. I'd like to bring some Christmas cheer while we are stuck inside. Hi friends, today is Saturday, December 12th, and I am heading to my friends to do an outdoor project. So it turns out when you wear a mask outside, it smears your mascara real good. It's true. Look at and yours. it's on my mask. Very dense. There you go. <laughs> That's exactly what I have. I'm at Fred Meyer now picking up my groceries. And on the way home from my friend's house, Jared and I saw the most crazy thing. So the GPS took me on the highway for some reason. So I don't know if the road we took there had a lot of traffic or what. But on the highway, this person completely lost control of their car. And at first it looked like they were driving aggressively, but uh, Jared saw their tire rim roll across the road in front of our car. And it's amazing that they didn't hit anyone or either one of the barriers because they were seriously all over the road. I'll do a little diagram or a demonstration as to what happened when I get home. It was terrifying and we could smell the burning rubber as we passed. Okay, now I'm going to recreate the horrifying scene that my son and I witnessed. This bottle of Germex represents us. This is the white truck in front of us. This, uh-oh. This is the barrier on one side of the road. This is the barrier on the other side. This is a car and this measuring spoon is also a car. The Santa butter knife is going to represent the out of control car. So suddenly it went like this, and then immediately this way, and then this is still, oh crap. This is still moving forward and almost hits the barrier in this side. And then it goes this way and then manages to pull over on the shoulder. So it is pretty much a miracle that he didn't hit this person, that person, or the measuring spoon, or the sweet tart barriers. Jared saw the tire rim go like that in front of our car, which is the Germex. You probably feel like you were almost there, don't you? When I picked up my groceries, I was hoping for a nice three to five pound pot roast because I wanted to make another one with leftovers from my parents. This one is less than a pound, and I don't see a way to put a note on there that says, could you please give us a five pounder? Because really five pounds would be ideal for my family and then leftovers from my parents. Here is the little can of tomato paste. If a small chuck roast is the least of my problems, then we're in good shape. Well, it's been a very eventful day. I just got Carmen and Andrew to sing a duet together for our devotional next week, which is done over Zoom. I had to bribe Andrew with a steak to get him to do it. Huh? I didn't want to do it. I wanted to. He didn't want to do it. The kids were told either to give a talk or to do a musical number. Andrew wanted to do a talk, and I said no. He could do a musical number. Everybody really wanted to hear him and Carmen sing. Do I get to show them? No. Yes. Can, no. I, can I show them part yes. of it? No. Just part of it? No. I'll let... Show them the short clip of Andrew hitting the drumsticks together. <laughs> okay. Here's a short clip of Andrew hitting the drumsticks together. <laughs> I got, I got to the point where, uh, I'm like so tired and exhausted where I'm like hyper. That's the stage I'm at. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of Silent Night now. No, you're not.
Carmen can record it herself and you can play that. No. Yes. I'm not doing that to you. Or you and mom can record it. See you again tomorrow, hopefully. Bye. Stop. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. That's Eric's job. I'm naked, naked, naked. naked. Ah. When Andrew was like three or four, I don't know, he had a naked dance. I did. Sometimes I imitate it, but I'm fully clothed while I do it. Uh, I just like to to do the little dance. Uh, I'm naked, naked, naked. I'm naked, naked, naked. Do it. I opened it. No. <laughs> do I have to edit that out? <laughs> fully clothed dance, you're fully clothed. No, then it's not the naked dance. Then it's the clothed dance. <laughs> Just saying I'm naked doesn't make me naked. <laughs> not how it works. <laughs> I'm the comedian of the family. <laughs> and I'm the boring one. One time we were playing loaded questions with our friends. How old was Andrew at the time? I was probably 10. Like, yeah. 10 or 11. Age. And the question was what would be an inappropriate title for a children's book? And Andrew wrote, <laughs> The Sexy Little Teddy Bear. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone. We also played Balderdash. And it was, what does D-I-A stand for? And Eric said it was short for diarrhea. <laughs> I don't even think I played Balderdash It's supposed to be an acronym. Yeah, you played Balderdash with us. It was that same night. It was. It was the same night you answered... Sexy little teddy bear. <laughs> we did. And we'll do it again. I've never played it. I don't think. It's fun. I love it. Not right now, though. Play tomorrow. Right now. Right now, I am tired and my stomach hurts. And I'm stressed. I went to work today. I'm worried. And, um,. Exhausted and I'm yeah. Stop complaining. But I'm like to the point where I'm so tired I can't sleep. Your voice is like in between normal chords and tired chords. I woke up at like four in the morning because Jared was cooking bacon. Uh, and oh, I yeah. wake up every morning feeling kind of nauseated, so I don't like smelling bacon in my sleep when I don't feel good. I was really confused when I woke up and nobody else was up. And then I like, I, I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Wait, why is there bacon? Well, more of an Did the smell. bacon elves come again? <laughs> it, was, it was more of an egg smell. I was like, why do I smell eggs? At first it smelled like someone was making turkey or something. And I thought, no, don't reheat the turkey. It's old. <laughs> I'm very food poisoning paranoid. Very. Meanwhile, dad eats poison rice. Oh my gosh. Like, if you want to see me flip out, just eat food that is sat out all night long. Like, one of my dearest friends, I love her, but she will let food sit out all night like lasagna, meat lasagna, and then she doesn't reheat it She'll just start eating it again. Oh. And there's like leftovers in the fridge. I'm like, what are you doing? And she says, I have a strong stomach. I'm like, but you don't have to. Like she was on chemo at the time. Like, stop doing that. There was a time I threw up over 60 times in one day. And it must have been food poisoning. It was very, very bad. So... 
if food sits out for like half an hour, I don't even want to eat it. We had a friend years ago who worked in a lab that did testing on samples of food for restaurants. And he said one of the main culprits of food poisoning was cantaloupe. So I kind of just don't want to eat that anymore. I don't even bother. You have to clean the outside really, really well. And since you're not cooking it, you're not going to cook out the bacteria. Well, unless you're a weirdo. There must be some weirdos out there who like hot cantaloupe, but I don't... Kebab. Never heard of that. Kebab. Um... Anyway, if there is E. coli or something on the outside, you cut through it with the knife and you just drag that bacteria right onto the melon. It's for steak. <laughs> Improvisation. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs>